I got it. This is sick! This is so sick! Welcome to the Demon Mama Thanksgiving tier list! So fucking good. Damn, that was sick! That was fucking sick! Jazz Dog, that was so sick. That sounded fantastic. I love the Sneedville song. It's like one of the songs. Listen, one of my exes had two kids, and I watched that movie like 900 times, and I've never been able to get the Sneedville song out of my head. I don't know why compost is on this list. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I, this seems like a meme. Is this like a meme? Is this something that I don't know about? We'll skip that one otherwise. Okay? But this has everything else that I wanted on it. Okay? Are we ready? Are we fucking ready, everybody? We have to start at the beginning, everyone. The tier list begins. Is it compote? Oh, it could be compote. Yeah. Okay. Apple pie, everybody. Apple pie. A classic American dish. Um, and, uh, a, a, a classic American dish and, uh, delicious, wonderful, easy to fuck up. Okay. Easy to fuck up. Apple pie, a classic American dish. Yummy. Okay. This goes into the yummy category. I love apple pie. It can't be an I'm leaving if it's not there because that's not true. If there is... No apple pie, I can survive, but apple pie is a massive, a, a massive plus, especially if it's made, especially if it's made with real apples. If they use that fucking apple shit that's bullshit, um, the like pre-made apple stuff, I could take it or leave it, but a good apple pie with some real vanilla bean ice cream is fucking great, okay? Just fantastic, okay? Just fantastic. Next, we have baked squash. I am not a big squash fan, believe it or not. I have never liked squash. Uh, I would pass on squash most of the time. Um, I think it's healthy. 
but squash oh, is man. not my thing. Okay. Oh man, I can't. Uh, I can't support this one. I love Cheese it. with apple pie. Uh, that's the a la mode. I like that. Or whatever, right? A la mode. Isn't that what it's called? There are so many or is that with ice cream? Is a la mode with ice cream? That cheese with apple pie thing. I've had it before and it's really good. A la mode is ice cream. What's the one with the uh, the cheese? The cheese is great. Um, thank you. Didn't you say that BPD gives you heightened emotions and senses? Uh, yeah, it does tend to. I have very extreme emotions. I keep them under control very well, though, because I've lived with BPD my whole life. So... But I feel extreme emotions. Does that apply to tasting? I don't know, actually. I don't know if it does for tasting. I would imagine it probably does. I'm very, you know, I'm very discerning with things that I eat. Excuse me. Thank you. So that's an easy one. Next is baked sweet potatoes. Okay, guys. So, um, sweet potatoes. I'm not going to lie. I fucking love sweet potatoes. However, I hate Thanksgiving baked sweet potatoes. S Thanksgiving baked sweet potatoes and yams are just disgusting. They are just ugh. Now, sweet potato fries, sweet potatoes as a substitute, fantastic. But baked sweet potatoes, sorry, but that's a fuck you tier. Don't even offer those to me. Do not offer me the baked sweet potatoes. Fuck that shit yucky disgusting nope ew yucky no uh just too many conflicting flavors doesn't mix well with everything else not a big fan nope just do not offer me it next biscuits if you do not have biscuits at your turkey dinner of some form even if they're store-bought biscuits i will leave however the best biscuits in the world are are make make it worth like the entire meal uh, biscuits will, will make an entire, like, if there's nothing else, if your entire meal sucks, but you have good biscuits, I will just eat biscuits all night. Biscuits are where it's at. They are an essential. They are the true unsung heroes. Okay? Unsung heroes of the, of the, tur of the Thanksgiving dinner. Okay? So, next, brown yeah. gravy. Okay? Brown gravy, everybody. Brown gravy is in the yummy tier. Now you might go, oh, 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 oh my God. You didn't put it in the I'm not leaving. It's essential though. Wrong. That position belongs to white gravy. White gravy is the predominant superior gravy. The thick, rich fullness of a white gravy, the savory flavor, the salty pepperiness, the sausaginess. White gravy is the true gravy. It is the real gravy. I don't care if you say it's a breakfast gravy. Only an idiot would decide to only eat white gravy at breakfasts. White gravy is incredible. And so that is why it is the superior gravy. Go for it. Well, yes, I understand, Mythaldu, because you guys don't have white gravy. Nobody else has the wonder of, of white gravy. White gravy is an American treat. White gravy discord. White gravy discord. White gravy is the best. Brown gravy is good. Of course, I put the brown gravy in my yummy tier. But, but white gravy is where it's at. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. It's, it's the good one. It's the good gravy. It's not the British gravy. Let's continue. Next, Brussels sprouts. Okay, everybody? Brussels sprouts? Meh. They're healthy. They're yummy. They're pretty good. They're very healthy. They're definitely good for you. But, eh. They're not... They're, I'm gonna eat some. Yeah. Yeah, of course. They can be good. It's just like, you know... Eh. Brussels rule. Okay. Okay, but Grime Dango. To be fair... You're judging this from a different perspective, which is that I will eat turkey and you won't. And that means the Brussels will be a higher on the tier because you knocked the turkey off. Well, good, well cooked Brussels are 
Okay, ready? Here's the next one. Are you ready, everybody? Collard greens. Fucking yummy tier. Give me those collard greens. I would almost put collard greens in the I'm leaving if it's not there tier. Collard greens are fucking good. Healthy, flavorful, strong flavor. Um, Like, they definitively show that you have some care in what you're making. Because uh, most people will just put lazy shit like green beans or creamed spinach bullshit. Collard greens are where it's at, okay? Yeah, I, I almost I, I almost want to put them up to the top. But I wouldn't I don't know. I don't know. You might be able to call my bluff. I might not literally leave. It's not there. I just I don't have it on my screen as easily anymore. Okay, next. Uh compost. I think this is an error. I think what they meant to say is compote. Which is this thing. Which is a French dessert. It's like a berry juice. So we're going to say that they probably meant compote and not compost. Um, and for me, that's a meh. I uh, take it or leave it. Yeah. Compote. Okay. It's like a berry tart. Eh. I'll take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Compost is S T R. I love eating trash. Well, okay. The raccoons in chat need to get out. Raccoons get out. The, the 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 rack rack furs need to get it, get the fuck out of here. Go take a break. You're gonna be you're gonna be judged because you guys will eat anything. Doe loves raccoons, yeah, but but that's fine. But the raccoons are gonna mess up our our tier list because they're gonna say they'll they'll say S tier to everything. They're like, mmm, that sounds great. Mmm, that sounds great. Mmm, that sounds great. Mmm, that sounds great. That's what the entire if you wanted, you want, you know what? I could do this. If you guys want the raccoon list, here we go. We can just do it right now. Here, I'll just put it all on. There we go. We're putting everything up. They'll leave if none of it's there. There you go. That's the raccoon list. Huh? Okay. Crescent rolls. They go in the yummy tier. Okay? Um. So, crescent rolls. Now, there's a thing with crescent rolls. Okay? Uh, crescent rolls drop down into the meh tier if they are if they're the store bought shitty ones if they're homemade like like made dough crescent rolls are legendary truly legendary um they're very very good and yes the problem is they are compete yes rapti brings up a great point which is that they're competing against biscuits so you know yeah yeah um Crescent rolls, eh. Is there a difference between crescent rolls and dinner rolls? Yes, there is. Crescent rolls um, ha use a lot more butter. They're much more similar to a croissant than a dinner roll. Dinner rolls are usually a lot more heartier and uh, sweeter. They use they usually they tend to use something like more sweeter. Yes, roll. Uh, uh, crescent rolls are very flaky, whereas dinner rolls are meant to be very solid and and. Mm. So next, dinner rolls. Once again, I am going to put the dinner rolls in the meh tier. And the reason why I'm going to put dinner rolls in the meh tier. Hold on, I know you're all going to get real mad. You're going to get super mad. Here we go. I knew this one was going to get a lot of people angry. Okay, the reason being. Is that if you don't wait, listen, hold on, listen. They're competing with biscuits and crescent rolls. <laughs> if you have biscuits, you will not eat the dinner rolls because they'll be too bland. If you have crescent rolls, you won't eat the dinner rolls because they'll because the dinner rolls are too bland. Now, there are some top tier um there are some really top tier uh dinner rolls out there. But the chances of that being the case, the dinner rolls are always what your like lazy, shitty uncle brings over because he got he forgot to make anything and so he just stops at like Safeway on the way home and picks up dinner rolls which is what I did yesterday by the way but I picked out some banger dinner rolls but nonetheless it's true am I a vegan uh I'm an aspiring vegan let's put it that way I I really do my best to reduce meat but I don't I haven't eliminated meat entirely am I the shitty uncle uh last night I was yes Last night I absolutely was. I I uh, uh look I was not feeling so good. Uh, I I was not I did not sign up to do any cooking, so I just bought shit. Yeah, it was good though. Dinner was great. 
I uh, zoned out for most of the day, you know? Yep, smells great in here. Walks away and doesn't help. Hey, I did help. My back was hurting, okay? Yeah, see? I helped a little. I helped. Actually, I helped a little. I helped a lot. I just didn't do any cooking. That's all. Yeah, the dinner looked good. We did have seconds. I've had a lot. Um, Then, next is glazed carrots. Okay. I fucking hate carrots. Okay? I fucking hate carrots. Listen. Carrots are a good vegetable or whatever they are. Tuber or whatever the fuck they are. They're very healthy, but I fucking hate them. I can't stand carrots. They're so disgustingly sweet. I can't stand it. They are overwhelming. I can't. I can't. I, I don't even want to look at a glazed carrot. Carrots, glazed carrots especially, make me go, oh, God, they're so saccharine and bleh. it's too much. They It tastes like I'm, like, sucking down, like, I don't know, like, fucking, I don't, it, it's not sweet like chocolate. It's, like, sweet in this weird dirt way. It's like sweet dirt. It's like drinking sweet mud. But I don't want to drink sweet mud. I hate carrots. I just, I don't like carrots. I'm, uh, carrots are one of my, my nemesis foods. I don't like them. I've never liked carrots. I like raw carrots, but nah. Bourbon glaze, maybe. I've had, listen, I have had glazed carrots that I like, but I can, st even with glazed carrots that I really like, um, I, I always, I always only have a few because even with, and, and yes, uh, my partner, a gynotype makes a uh, really good bourbon glazed carrots, but I still only eat like three because I just don't like, uh, I just don't like carrots. So fuck carrots. This list is already a huge L. No, this is the W list. If you don't agree with this list, you are simply wrong. Okay, so next, creamed spinach. Now, I'm guessing that's like the canned spinach stuff, okay? And I gotta say, if that's, I don't know exactly, hold on, I gotta see what, what does creamed spinach look like? Oh, wait, oh, this is like a dip. Oh, wait a second, this shit is awesome. Isn't this like a dip? Yeah, this shit's awesome. Fuck yeah, yummy tear. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. It's creamy. It's super good for you. It's amazing. It's basically like a, I mean, it's like a spinach dip, isn't it? With cheese? Yeah. It's super good. And it's super healthy. Spinach is like fucking really good. Okay, well, the cream part isn't, but spinach has so many micronutrients, has so many fucking nutrients you need, has so much vitamins. Are you kidding me? Spinach is fucking fantastic. It's bad for your heart. Okay, everything's bad for your heart. We live in America. Everything here, you cannot eat anything without a, a stick of butter in it in America. That's just how it goes. It's not as good as sag paneer. Oh, that's true. Of course, Kaboka. Thanks for the new intrusive thought. Sorry, that's carrots for you. Living in America is living in America is bad for a lot of your body. How can you extol the virtues of spinach but ignore Brussels sprouts? Cuz Brussels sprouts, there's a couple of reasons why I think spinach is superior to Brussels sprouts. First of all, spinach gets cooked consistently. It's it's impossible to fuck up cooking spinach. If you fuck up cooking spinach, you have to be very stupid. Um, but it's very easy to not cook Brussels sprouts enough and then they're like they're kind of hard in the middle and that's nasty. Yeah. So there you go. That's why. What do I think about carrot cake? I actually like carrot cake. But that's because you add sugar to it and it starts to taste like a sweet instead of a mud. Yeah. The thing is with, like, I like Brussels sprouts. Again, like I said, I like Brussels sprouts. I just find them unreliable at Thanksgiving dinners. Okay, now that would be amazing, Grime Dango, but that's not what we're talking about. Yeah. That does sound incredible. I will say that. Fried Brussels sounds fucking great. One of my favorite foods is fried okra. Now, if okra was on this list, that would be an S tier ASAP. So, okay, let's go on to the next one. Grape salad. Fuck you. Get that shit out of my face. Get that fucking garbage out of my goddamn face. If you come near me, I need to make a tier just for this shit. 
How do I add a tier? Can I add a row below? We need to do just this one. I will literally kill you. There we go. That's the I will literally kill you tier. If you offer me this fucking grape salad bullshit, I will just simply, I will never talk to you again. I, wait, it's broken. Hold on. The you die tier is what it's going to be called. Fuck grape salad. Fuck grape salad. It's disgusting, Grime Dango. Let me show you. I, sh I was making fun of this. I was roasting this on, uh, um, stream. It's so gross. Oh my God. I fucking hate this shit. Oh God. It's so disgusting. Oh God. It even looks disgusting. Here you go, everyone. Uh, ew. Oh, disgusting. It's like sweet cream with raisins and, and pears and grapes and cherries in it. It's disgusting. Fucking gross. The white part is like, uh, it's like sweet cream. This was like a 50s thing, Grime Dango. This is like a 50s thing. Or maybe uh, people say 70s, but I think this was like out of that era. Yeah, it's like a 50s thing. My grandma used to make this. Fuck this shit. Oh, God. Fuck that shit. That, again, that's why I put it in the you die tier. Okay? Fuck that shit. I used to eat, I used to have to eat so much of that every year. Fuck that. Right back to the grave with you. Fuck that shit. Get out of here. You offer that shit to me, you're going to be, I almost made a horrible joke. I won't do it. Uh, listen. Okay? All right. Next. Cornbread. Guys. I wouldn't actually leave, but cornbread is so fucking good. Cornbread is amazing it is an Amer. this cornbread is like the most american food you can think of so fucking good and if you get good cornbread it is unbeatable un fucking beatable un un fucking believable i love cornbread yeah you don't need to sweeten it up at all but yeah but yeah. Next, green bean casserole. I'll pass on that one. I'll also, but here's where I'm going to go one more. Are you ready? Green beans get the fuck you tier. Fuck you. Absolutely fuck you. Uh, green bean casserole is an I'll pass, but green beans, fuck you. Get that shit out of my face. Fuck, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Green beans, fuck off. Green beans are bitter, they have bad texture. They're all separated. Your family members never cook them correctly. They don't. They always forget to season them. They suck. They blow. S fuck green beans all the way. Eh. Nasty. Disgusting. They get all rubbery if they get even. And, and here's the thing. At Thanksgiving, the food always ends up sitting for a few minutes while everybody does their stupid shit, like get their plates and whatever. And by then, the green beans get rubbery. Disgusting horrible it's like biting like fucking like worms which i guess some people would like that green beans don't listen see grime dango i see you've been spoiled on your green beans green beans are supposed to crunch but they never do that that never happens okay well that's not my fault grime dango fuck green beans and they squeak. Yeah, exactly. Pros Renegade, they squeak on your teeth. They squeak on your goddamn teeth. I like that. What's wrong with you? What? How can you? Oh, I'm scared of you now. Have you never eaten cheese curds on their own? They squeak on your teeth. Not that type of squeak. That's a nasty squeak. Veggies aren't supposed to squeak on your teeth. Now, tempura it's green beans like are great. Mouth. Anyway, there's nothing wrong with you. I love you. I was just joking. That was just a joke. Cheese curd squeak? Chewing on the raw tire bean? Yeah, raw fucking tire. Weird. Everything good tempura? Not everything.
Okay, next. Green Jello Salad. Yeah, I'm going to put that in the fuck you tier. I don't know what these fucking... What is this shit? I've never even had this. This looks disgusting. What is a green jello salad? Ew! That's disgusting! Oh, God! You've never encountered worms. Oh, boy. It's putrid! It's not slime pie. Slime pie would be sexy. This is like vomit chunk pie. Ew! Oh, God! How do you make something this disgusting? I know, I know, frog eye pie. Oh, God. Or frog eye salad. Uh, ew. Ew! I hate this shit. Yeah, baby. Help. Yeah. It's got pasta in it. Yep. It's got pasta in it. Yep. Uh, yep. I'm gonna vomit. No, I'm bumping this down to the you die tier. And red and red Jello salads going in there too. Red Jello salad has three entries. All of them are going into the you die tier. That is disgusting. I didn't know that we would have to put so many things, but this absolutely qualifies as basically the same thing as grape salad. Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit, guys. That's disgusting. I know what it... Wait, but good ambrosia salad is good. Good ambrosia is good. Yeah, America's fucked. I've been trying to tell you guys this. Mythaldu, there's an illusion that like, okay, listen, even some lefty streamers do this. They're like, oh, America's still a really good place to live. No, it's not. Help us. Help. Help. Help us. Someone help. Help us. We're trapped. We're blinking as much as we can. Help. America is a giant... A g <laughs> listen. It sucks. Okay? Ham. Fuck you. Fuck you. If you bring a ham, if you bring a fucking ham to a Thanksgiving dinner, you deserve to get fucking trebucheted. <laughs> Flung. Wild. Out. Ham fucked here. Fuck ham. Ham sucks. You do not eat. Listen, ha Easter is already. We've already talked about this, that Easter is already the worst holiday because of ham. Ham is fucking trash. I hate ham. And pigs are cute. I'm not wrong on this. There's too many raccoons in chat. I told you the rack furries are in here. Ooh, ham. They're like, ooh, ham. They wouldn't care if there were flies all over it or anything. Fuck ham. Bacon is good. Other types of ham are good, but a dinner ham like this is absolute trash. The texture is shit. Guys, big dinner roast hams, they taste like you're eating a fucking glove. Oh, silent. I will, I will, I will protest. I will go on strike if there's a ham. I fucking hate ham. Dude, fuck ham. Turk, no, if you cook a turkey correctly, it's fine. Ham, even in its ideal state, still tastes like eating a mitten. No, I know I have had good ham. I have eaten ham all over the place. Trust me, people have been shoving fa fucking ham down my throat my entire life. Fuck ham. No, fuck ham. Ham tastes like shit. You could, if you're going to kill a pig, use it for bacon. Use it for belly. Use it for anything except for fucking ham. Use it for, uh, uh, fucking... Pork roast. Use it for anything. Just not fucking ham. Ham is the most white person meal in the entire world, and it's terrible for that reason. That's not how meat works. Do I know? Yes, I do know how it works, but guess what? You Wait, hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on a second. Wait, hold on. What's the dinner? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. What cut? is a is a is a ham a dinner ham okay ah uh, let's see do we can we find out real quick <sighs> what's the cut 
now I see why Demon Mom is the most contentious streamer. Yeah, you yeah, bad because my my chat is full of people who have bad taste and they get very angry at me. Oh my god, look at this putrid shit. This literally looks this is the most this looks you know what this looks like? Hold on guys. You know what this looks like? Hold on. I got this for you. Here, hold on. Let me just show you a little side by side comparison real quick. Um okay. Here we go. Ready? Here's your ha here's your ham side by side. Delicious ham? Hmm. Or brain bug mouth. Which one? Hmm. Hmm. Brain bug mouth? Delicious ham. Can you tell the difference? I can't. Very difficult for me. I think they look very similar, personally. I don't know. There's a lot of similarities there. Anyway, fuck you. Uh, uh, ham is the worst. I fucking hate ham. Uh, fuck ham. I hate it. That's fair, I mean, but that's different. We're not talking about whether we're gonna fuck it. It's from the leg. So then you can use it. Then you can use it. Guess what? You can use that leg meat and you can make a, uh, a, a, like, uh, what's it called? Like, you can roast the pig. What's it called? Fuck, I can't think of what it is. Where you cut the meat off. Where you, you know, you put on the stick and you move it around. And you cut the meat off and it's all smoky and spit roast and whatever. No, that's not the one. Is it spit roast? Shawarma. Yeah, yeah, shawarma. Rotisserie, rotisserie. That's what I'm talking about. Rotisserie, where you turn it around and you shave the pieces off. <laughs> Mama, please don't do this. Go to bed. You're tearing our community apart. You're going to have all the mods leave. Over the ham takes, worth it. You'll never take me alive. I'll burn. I, I, <laughs> I'd burn this entire channel to the ground before I eat your shitty holiday hams. Super Mike, thank you so much. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. Super Mike's putting his money where his mouth is. I, for one, agree with you. Ham is bland. Much better cuts of pig. True. True. All right, let's continue. Mac and cheese. Give me that muck and... I fucked up. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck it. Shit. Joke on it. Give me that motherfucking mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is the best. Uh, mac and cheese is always a star, always incredible, and I know that even Grime Dango won't argue with me on this. Yeah, look at that. See, I'm winning back even the Grime Dango vote. I may have made Grime Dango angry with my ham takes, but I knew the mac and cheese position would win Grime Dango back. I knew it. So, mac and cheese is a remarkably simple, but also beautifully complex dish, Okay. And I gotta say, um, mac and cheese is one of my favorite things to enjoy. And I have been treated, and I want to. I want to do it. Look at this. I'm gonna be. Look at this. Oh, look how nice I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be so nice. Grime Dango has personally made me three different mac and cheese recipes, all of which were breathtaking. So there's me winning back the heart, winning back the love and the heart of Grime Dango from murdering me over my ham takes because of the mac and cheese so there you go bam look at me uh mac and cheese is fucking awesome it's almost impossible to fuck up mac and cheese and um and yeah you uh, grime dango has the best mac and cheese recipes in the entire world i'm not kidding you the fucking newfie mac and cheese that shit was amazing that shit was fucking incredible I'm like literally getting hungry just thinking about it right now. Oh, Grime Dango, I sent that recipe to my to uh one of my <laughs> to my doctor. <laughs> I'm good friends like my my general practitioner. I'm like actually like like on you know, we've we've been to get we've been like doctor patient for a long time and I was talking about that mac and cheese and my doctor was like, "Oh my god, can I have your recipe?" And I was like, "Yeah, absolutely." And I sent it to her. We've been together. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I'm not I'm not dating my doctor. Jesus Christ, guys. Anyway, let's continue. Next is everybody, let's not get distracted. Okay? Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes, everybody. Mashed potatoes. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Oh shit. Where is it going? Where is it going? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Oh, yeah, that's right. Mash. F 
fucking potatoes. I love mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes, the most versatile dish. You can put cheese in it. You can put bacon in it. You can put chives in it. You can put anything in it. Mashed potatoes, they got fucking tons of potassium. They got fucking, they got fucking sodium. They got everything you need. They've got all the fucking, they are the, 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 the spuds of the, 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 the maximum level of spud. They are the gift of the earth. The brown vegetable itself. Mashed potatoes, fucking fantastic. God tier, great vegetable that's turned into a fantastic dish. Just so good. Next is pecan pie. Pecan pie. I love pecan pie. I fucking love it. But I can't put it S tier. And there's a reason for that. Which is because over the years... Over the years, I have slowly fallen slightly out of love with pecan pie. It used to be that... Um, it used to be that I loved pecan pie. It was my favorite pie of all types. But I ate so much pecan pie over the years... That I've actually burned myself out on it a little bit. So my personal thing is it's been it's been demoted slightly just because of how much pecan pie I've eaten in my life. Which means that the pie MVP is pumpkin pie. Because there's no competitors anymore. Apple pie is not as good as pumpkin pie. Ever. Just it's it never is. Pumpkin pie is a blessing. And in addition, it has to be there. There simply cannot be a Thanksgiving dinner without pumpkin pie. And let me explain something, okay? I'm going to paint you a picture for just a minute here, okay? Everybody, quiet down, chat. Take a deep breath for just a minute, okay? I'm going to grab a little cigarette here. We're gonna, I'm going to tell you a story, and this will sell you on why pumpkin pie, Okay? I want you to close your eyes and I want you to imagine a cold, frosty gust of wind dances across your cheek. You're walking down the road from your house, maybe to your uncle's or your cousin's place, and you decided you wanted to walk because it's early fall and it's the temperature is just cold enough that you need your nice fluffy, you know, hoodie or whatever. And so you grab your bag, your backpack, you put your little stuff in that you're bringing to the party. Maybe your game, your game Boy or whatever. Because you want to hang out with your cousins and you're excited. You put on the backpack and you walk outside. You feel that feeling. And you smell the smells of, 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 of all the wet leaves having fallen to the ground. And all the fall smells uh, as you're walking out. And you can hear the leaves rustling very gently in the tree. There's nobody else out there. Maybe there's a crow. And as you're walking, you walk by the pumpkin patch. And the pumpkin patch is just beautiful. You know, it's kind of, it looks, it almost would look barren. It, because all of the, the green has dried up, but the pumpkins are all over the place. And maybe there's a scarecrow with some crows on it. Maybe there's some deer or turkeys even munching at the leftover pumpkins that are remaining in the field. And then you start thinking, oh my God, we're going to have pumpkin pie tonight. And so you pick up the pace a little bit and you're walking faster. And, and, and you're getting a little cold now and you're like, oh, wow, when I get there, I'm going to walk in. And the first thing you smell when you open the door, you finally get in, your hands are getting cold, your nose is cold, your cheeks are cold. You pull open the door and the first thing that hits you is that delicious spiced pumpkin smell. That's why pumpkin pie is the S tier. You see? Because pumpkin pie can, in, can in, invoke that level of 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 it's that much of a classic dish it really is powerful if the first thing you smell is ham you need to you need to uh if the first thing you smell is ham you need to take care of your family take care of them once and for all you understand You know, give them an offer they can't refuse, basically. So basically, you're saying pumpkin pie is good because it's a classic or traditional or some shit? No, I'm saying pumpkin pie is good because of, because pumpkins are such an incredible vegetable. Well, they're not even a vegetable, are they? What are they, a gourd? You said anti-squash, but you called pumpkin? 
I don't like squash individually. I'm talking about I, pumpkin pie. I said I liked squashes as a thing, but I don't like baked squash. Excuse me. I'm con very consistent. My values are very consistent. Very Pumpkins are... Uh, I know a pumpkin is a squash. Oh, my God. Yes, thank you. But listen, pumpkins are such a legendary crop. They are like corn. They are tied to us, to uh, to like the roots of our fucking soul. We have pumpkins and humans have lived in harmony for thousands upon thousands of years. And we are still making banger foods out of pumpkins to this day. So pumpkins, I salute you. I fucking salute you. Yeah, pumpkins. Incredible. Pumpkin pie, fucking incredible. Can't beat it. Can't fucking beat it. Honestly, pumpkin pie almost deserves its own tier. You can't have a, a Thanksgiving din dinner. Oh, I love them. Yeah, and exactly. Pumpkin head characters is also one of my favorite genders. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give it its own tier. Fuck it. I'm giving it its own one. I'm giving it. Uh, a true essential. There we go. We're giving pumpkin pie its own tier. It needs it. It really needs it. Roast pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are one of my favorite snacks. I regularly buy pumpkin seeds and chew on them. You can't have a Thanksgiving dinner without pumpkin pie. Is that like a saying or something? I I just I really I feel like you're missing out on a on a fundamental experience. That's a tradition. Then oh, do you think you're gonna get me? Excuse me. Oh, uh oh, oh, you want a hot take? Oh, I see. You, I tried. Demon Mama tried to stay away from politics, but I'm gonna tell you. Did you know that there's nothing wrong with traditions? Did you know that? There's a problem with tradition with a capital T. Tradition with a T, with a capital T. See, traditions are very important. In fact, traditions are a way that we communicate things. But tradition is dogma. It is saying we do this because it's the way that it was done before, because the people before us lived, and that means we do it because they do. That's the problem. Anyway, there's a difference between traditions and tradition. Traditions serve us. Tradition makes us slaves let's continue uh next red potatoes eh, i'll pass I'm not a big fan of red red potatoes um every time um every time i uh every time i have red potatoes they're always underwhelming um, the thing is, there are good red potatoes. Um, especially if somebody really knows what they're doing, they can make them crispy, um, on the outside and soft on the inside, and the skin will, like, will snap and taste good. But it is, it's so hard to get good red potatoes. If you, like, every time I go to a Thanksgiving dinner, there's never, I haven't had good red potatoes at a Thanksgiving dinner, I think, ever. But if you go to a restaurant and order red potatoes, they're fantastic. They're fantastic. So I like them, but I'm not going to look th I'm not going to seek them out. I will probably pass on them if they're at a Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, I know, but Next. I think I've said enough on red po red potatoes. Next, cranberry sauce. Everybody? Everybody, here we go. I'm snooty? You think I'm snooty? I love cranberry sauce. You I'm think I'm class. snooty? I'll show you. Cranberry sauce, everybody. F. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Dun, 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 dun. Ba, 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 da, da. Dun, 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 d
good. I fucking love cranberries. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, cranberry haters. Yep, get wrecked. However, however, there is an exception. There is an exception to the rule. Do you see how much of an emotional journey I've taken you on right now? You've been taken on a journey. You thought I was going to drop it in F, then it was in S, and now I'm telling you there's a catch? If you get canned cranberry sauce, I will shove it up your asshole. I will blow out your asshole with the cranberry, cranberry sauce can, and then you will pass out. Yeah, they kind of suck. Fuck canned cranberry juice sauce. It is terrible. Let me show you something. Are you prepared? Watch this. I'm going to teach you something about cranberries, everybody. Okay? I'm going to show you something about cranberries. And then we're going to tie it back. Don't worry. We're going to tie it back. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just don't worry. Hold on a second. See this shit right here? Okay. This is going to tie back. It's all going to make sense. Just ride, ride along. Ride along for a second. This right here. What do you? What is this, chat? Can we get a can we get a quiz? What do you think this is right here? What is this? What is this that you see? Yucky sugar. Pear juice, sugar, high fructose corn syrup. Yep. Okay, good. We got a lot of good ones. This is is trash. This is water with some sugar in it that that somebody also pissed in to make it a little bit uh a little bit acrid. Yeah, there's a reason they call it well. I don't know. It's it's crap, okay? This shit is terrible. Cranberry juice that you get from Ocean Spray is the worst. And I'm going to show you something else. I hate it. I will not drink this shit. Don't give me that shit. I won't drink it. Unless I have no other choice. However, I'm going to show you something else. And now it's going to all make sense. It's all going to come together. Are you fucking ready? This right here. Hold on. Now this is an S tier drink. Unsweetened, pure cranberry juice. You can mix this with anything. It is 100% cranberry juice. And it is expensive, but you don't have much of it. You take a shot of this stuff, and you mix it with anything else, and it will turn that thing into the most delicious drink that you've ever had. I make my own little Mountain Dew morning thing. Sometimes Fawn makes it for me, where we put this and a Mountain Dew and sometimes some fruit or whatever. Oh, you can't, you don't drink it on its own because it's way too bitter. But it is fucking great. Also, very good for you. Yeah, Fawn makes it for us all the time. It's really fucking good. It also helps you fight off UTIs, which is great. Yeah, mix it with Mountain Dew. It's fucking great. It makes a... It, it, it tastes like a, a kickstart. It's fucking sick. Now, you might wonder... Hold on a second. How does this tie... It's really obvious how it ties back. Cranberry sauce from a can is garbage. Homemade, actual cranberry sauce is one of the most godly things you will ever taste. If you have somebody make you a real cranberry sauce, if you make yourself a real, like, smushed up cranberries with the flesh of the cranberries still in there, oh my god, is it amazing. Yeah, Mountain Dew Rise is fucking great. Mountain Dew Kickstart and Mountain Dew Rise are both fantastic. Like, top notch. How does it feel to be a part of the bourgeoisie? Guess what, Big E? That doesn't work. That doesn't work on me. Because I happen to know what the price of fresh cranberries are. And it's cheaper than canned cranberries. Gotcha. Gotcha, cracker. Gotcha. Fucking gotcha. Gotcha. The cranberries are cheaper than the canned stuff. They grow in bogs. Okay, cranberries are actually fucking cool. Have you guys ever seen, like, look at, look at how they, hold on. Have you seen this shit? This is so sick. Look at this shit. Look, this is how they do cranberries. Look at this. This is the coolest thing ever. They, they, the cranberries grow in the water and you, and they, they, they float and then they scoop them up. So you like the, the farmers will, they put on big boots and they walk through the water and they scoop up the cranberries. 
It's so sick. Yeah. Cranberries are sick as fuck. It's really, it's really fucking cool. I'm telling you. Okay. So next roasted carrots guys, you know where this one's going a fucking put that in the fuck you category. This is an easy one. Blueberries. Excuse me. I know. Uh, sorry. Furry Obama says blueberries yuvki, which I assume was, is Russian for blueberries or yucky. Um, wrong. You are, I no. we're stopping. We're stopping. We're stopping. Beautiful. We're stopping. Delicious. What you see before you is a main blueberry. These are perhaps the most wonderful berry that has ever existed. There is nothing, there is almost no more pure being on the planet than a blueberry, than a main blueberry specifically. You can pick them anywhere in the wild. They grow anywhere. They grow on rocks. They grow underneath trees. They grow everywhere. And you can eat them. You can eat so many of them that you get sick and you won't actually die because they're incredibly nutritious and they taste amazing. Blueberries are so incredible. Yeah, blueberry muffins are better than blueberry pies. That's true, but blueberry pies can be good. Blueberry pancakes are also incredible. Blueberry flapjacks. Uh, blueberries are amazing. Now, this you'll notice these are the main. These are the main style blueberries. They are the uh, low bush blueberries, is what they're called, um, because they grow close to the ground. These are a nice balance of tart and sweet, and they are incredible. Look, they are also adorable. Can you? Are you guys? Are you guys not seeing this? Are you not looking at the same thing as me right now? Do you not see how cute this berry is? Like, look at it's so adorable. It's so small and happy and round. They're little, they're babies. No, they have a, then yours are not good. You need to give them more nutrients because they're supposed to feel very good. They're little tiny water balloons of sweetness, of, of just enough sweetness. And you can pick them anywhere. Listen, when I was young, younger than I am right now, because I'm still very young, I guess. Um, when I was younger, we would eat these all the time. We, we would eat these. We would just find them and eat them. You're out playing outside and you just find berries. And you'd be like, wow, yeah, it's sounds like sick. Here in this state. There's berries everywhere. Wow. Yeah. So sorry, I had to take a little diversion there, but, but blueberries are the best, okay? Of course I love raspberries. Raspberries are my second favorite. Well, raspberries and blackberries are tied for my second favorite berry, the first being a blueberry. Blueberries are amazing. I love them. I love blueberries. I miss them so much. I don't think raspberries are better than blueberries. Marion berries are good too. The next up is corn. Corn, corn, corn. Let's talk about corn, everybody. Now, corn. I fucking love corn. Now, the only reason I'm not putting corn on the top list, on the very top, is because there are way too many ways to make corn. There are way too many ways to make corn, and you know one of your relatives is going to bring that shitty-ass, canned, fucking watery-ass, creamy corn bullshit. Corn, however, if you, get, if you go out and you have fresh husk, like fresh shucked ears of corn... Oh my God. Oh my God. So fucking great. And you could have popcorn. What if your what if one of your family members brings homemade uh homemade kettle corn? What the fuck? There's but do you see what I'm saying about there's so many ways to make corn that you can't know if you're gonna get one, so I can't say that I'll leave if it's not there. I can't put it truly on the S tier. But I will put it in the yummy tier. Yummy! Because it's very yummy. Yeah, kettle corn is is fucking is fucking great. Corn is really good. Yeah, creamy corn can blech. Yucky. It's the it's the chumbus gungus turkey corn cream whatever. So next is corn casserole. Um I 
am going to put that on an Al Pass. I actually don't think I've ever had this, but I am not a fan of, of like, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of casseroles. And a corn casserole sounds like a wasted potential to me. Yeah, I think I'm going to say I'll pass on that one. Casseroles are supposed to be made from leftovers, not for Thanksgiving. Yeah, but lazy people always do it. Yeah. Yeah. Which means we're on to the next one, okay? Are you guys ready for this? Cool Whip. Cool Whip. And I got to say, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And I'll tell you why it's a fuck you tier. It's not a you die. It's not that much of an offense. But uh, Cool Whip is the worst thing that you can show up with. Okay? Make real whipped cream. See, we were blessed last night with Silent and Fawn making real whipped cream which didn't take all that long and tasted 150,000 times better than Cool Whip. That is a fact. That is an actual citation. I'm citing my own study with that, okay? 155,000 times or whatever number I said. Um, it is, Cool Whip is the most blandest form of whipped cream. It is, no, that you're thinking of Miracle Whip. No, 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 I swear there's a red okay. Cool Whip. Yeah, it's not actual cream. Wikipedia. Let's look it up on Wikipedia. Cool Whip. Imitation whipped cream. Yeah, see, I told you. What's it made? Ingredients. Cool Whip is made from water, hydrogenated vegetable oil. You were right. Bam. Fucking hydrogenated vegetable oil. That's so lame. Lame. Yuck. Yeah. Wah. Ask the imps to donate so I can get a sling for your whipped cream arm. Listen, I think there may have been other things contributing to your whipped cream injuries, okay? But but I will ask them for a donation. So donate, donate, like, subscribe, be nice, comment on all my videos. I need the help in the algorithm. Share with all your friends. Share with all your friends. Tell people about Demon Mama. Yeah, because I'm cool and I would love... Uh, did you know that my channel only survives because of word, word of mouth? Because uh, I've been fucked in the algorithm thanks to a couple of websites? Thank you. I don't think so, Sal Kitty. Thank you so much, Viet Pam. I appreciate that. See, I got good taste. All right, next. Next, we got roasted potatoes. Okay, roasted potatoes. I'm going to put those in the meh tier. These look very similar to the red potatoes. Roasted potatoes are fine. I I could take it or leave it. They're fine. They're filling. They're good. But I, I usually don't eat a whole lot of these when I'm at a, when I'm at a Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, and they're competing with mashed potatoes. They're competing with both with the math, mashed potatoes and other uh and, and other thick dishes. Yeah, no one is going to reach for roasted potatoes over mashed potatoes. Just nobody. Nobody will. Oh, thank you, baby boy. That's really nice of you. Tankies would, would they? I don't think so. To bake a triple casserole from scratch, you must first invent the universe. Whoop, 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 whoop. Love it. So next. Next is scalloped potatoes. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big fan of scalloped potatoes. I I know that scalloped potatoes can be do, can do well. They can do, they can be good, but, um, I'm just not a big fan. It doesn't come together into a lovable dish for me. It's too mushy. It's like, I don't know. There's competing things. I, I just, I, I don't like them. They don't stack up to mashed potatoes. The flavors are pretty good. You can't mix them up easy. Yeah, there's, it's just not, not my thing. So I'm going to, I'm going to pass on the scalloped potatoes. Next, Steak steak fucking yummy now i have never been to a thanksgiving dinner where steak was served ever never once because steak is actually expensive now steak is actually bougie steak is expensive
But if somebody did serve me steak at a Thanksgiving dinner, I would be very happy. I would just never expect it. Like, I, I would love that shit. I love steak. Steak is fucking great. But yeah, it just, I just, I've never had that, ever. I've, I've never, ever had that. We have to continue. Because we have four more things to do. Are you ready? Stuffing. 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 Dun, 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 Stuffing! And do you want to know what made me decide that it belongs in the S tier? Was the stuffing that Silent made last night. Because that was, without a doubt, the best stuffing I have ever had. It was so fucking good. It would have been a yummy tier if not for the stuffing of last night. Which was truly the MVP. It was... Not wet at all. It was crispy as can be. It was crispy on the outside, just soft enough on the inside, infused with the flavor of bacon and turkey and a fuckload of seasoning. Oh my motherfucking God. I don't want to go to a Thanksgiving dinner if there is no stuffing there. If you don't, if you skip the stuffing, lazy. I like stuffing that is like cooked outside the bird. Who asked? 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 Any askers? No. Who asked? Who asked? I didn't ask for your dissenting opinion here. Who asked? Dissenting. Who asked? That's all I gotta say. Jesus Christ. I can't believe you would... We have a defector in our midst. We have a defector. Stuffing is amazing, okay? Stuffing? Fucking top notch. Who mega lol? Yeah. Literally who? Yeah. <clears throat> Askers? No. None. What's the lowest you can get? Hmm. What is stuffing made of? Bread and little veggies and seasonings and yeah. It's good. Stuffing goes on the top tier. Next, sweet potato casserole. Are you guys ready for this one? I don't think you're ready. I already talked about pecan pie. Sweet potato casserole. Dorime! Sorry, everyone. That goes in the fuck you tier. Fuck sweet potato casserole makes sweet potatoes literally worse. I would, yeah, I almost want to put it in the you die tier. It is, it is, so, it is such an affront to God. It is such an affront. Sweet potato casserole is just saying, let's make it worse. It's literally just potatoes with fucking shit-ass marshmallows melted in it. Fake-ass marshmallow bullshit. It is garbage. And also, it will literally instantaneously give you diabetes. If you take one bite, you will instantaneously get diabetes. It is more sugary than Mountain Dew. It is so bad. I fucking hate it. Just rotten. Just terrible. Horrible shit. Oh, do you have bougie marshmallows? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up right now. Bougie marshmallows. Fucking no. You want to know what's you want to know what a bougie marshmallow is? It's called not eating a marshmallow. Now, whipped cream. 
this is kind of funny. Uh, I'm going to put this in the yummy tier because we already talked about this. This is called whipped Q ream. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm guessing this is any whipped cream that isn't Cool Whip. And if that's the case, I like actual whipped cream. So we'll put that in the yummy tier because actual whipped cream is actually quite delicious. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what whipped Q ream is. Quireem? Yeah, maybe it's gay. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's a Q reference. Exactly. Maybe he's trying to tell us that the president is going to, to use a Ready Whip can to retake over or something. I know it, the picture looks like Ready Whip, but it just says whipped cream in general. And it is put in context with a Cool Whip. So I'm guessing it's the, uh, you know, yeah. yeah. Where we whip one, we whip all. Yeah, exactly. Put on the compost. Yeah. Handmade whipped cream is where it's at, to be honest. And honestly, this little this little air puffed stuff is not the worst. It's way better than Cool Whip, yeah. that's for sure. All right, we have to do the last one, everybody. Turkey. All right, everybody. Turkey time, okay? We have to put the turkey on the list. And I got to say, everybody... I'm seeing everybody's reactions. Here we go. Meh. Meh. I know. What a, what a, what a, eh. Yeah, meh. It goes in the meh tier. The turkey, everybody thinks about the turkey. But the reason, the true reason why everyone always thinks about the turkey on Thanksgiving is because the turkey is the most work. And I don't think that makes it a legendary Thanksgiving dish just because it takes the most work. Turkey really is the most traditional of all of the Thanksgiving dishes, and it's not even the most important. There are many alternatives to turkey you can make. Of course I liked your turkey, but this, remember, it's meh tier. We don't want to fall into... It's not... That doesn't mean I don't like it. It means it can be good. It can be bad. I will enjoy it if it's there, but I'm not going to go to... I'm not going to like... Like the turkey is not my number one go. Turkey. What's my opinion on tofu? I fucking love tofu. Are you kidding me? Tofu is like the most versatile thing on the planet. I fucking love tofu. But that's neither here nor there. Turkey is not that essential, believe it or not. Because the funny thing about turkey is that um, uh, it can be very good. It can be very, very bad. Uh, I have had some ra just terrible turkeys in my time. Um, it's very filling. It's very greasy most of the time. And it can have good flavor. But a turkey is entirely dependent, entirely on the cook. And that's true about most dishes, of course. However, turkeys are particularly dependent on the cook. And a turkey, uh, a, a bad turkey just sucks. So the reality is, I don't really care that much about the turkey. I'm there for the biscuits, the pumpkin pie, the white gravy, the cornbread, the mac and cheese, the mashed potatoes, the cranberry sauce, and the stuffing. And if you offer me a grape salad or any of this jello garbage, or if you shove a fucking sweet potato casserole in my face, there's going to be some blood. Okay, you understand? There's going to be some blood. What? I'll shatter your damn casserole pan and take care of you right then and there. Just with a piece of casserole pan. Bam. Yes, yeah, snicked. So, what do we think, everybody? 